Bitcoin has had an extremely strong 2023, enjoying a remarkable turnaround that some analysts believe could signal the end of the crypto winter ahead of the Bitcoin halving in mid-2024. However, BTC's price momentum has taken a sudden turn in recent weeks, leaving many traders wondering what comes next for the world's largest cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will be looking at what the future holds for Bitcoin. So, grab your popcorn and stay glued. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates from the world of cryptocurrencies in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we extend a special welcome to you. We invite you to hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, let's dive in. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency, created by pseudonymous creator Satoshi Nakamoto in 2009. At the time, it was also the first use of blockchain technology. Bitcoin was largely worthless during the first several years of its existence, but started to gain traction from 2013 to 2015. In 2017, the first Bitcoin boom saw the price of BTC rise to more than $15,000. Subsequent booms in 2019 and 2021 saw BTC hit new record highs. In 2021, Bitcoin hit its all-time high of $68,789.63. However, it fell as low as $15,760 in December 2022 in the midst of the so-called crypto winter that had been affected by numerous macroeconomic factors such as rising inflation, the Russia-Ukraine war and energy crisis, the collapse of Terra and FTX and so on. Starting in January 2023, BTC staged a turnaround. The coin gained 83% by April 10, when it hit a high of $31,035. This price also represented a break above a key resistance level around $30,000. Between April and the end of July, Bitcoin traded at around $30,000, almost touching $32,000 with positive sentiment amid a wave of spot Bitcoin ETFs being applied for from the likes of BlackRock and Fidelity. However, on August 16 and 17, BTC suffered a sharp drop, moving from $29,000 to $26,000, a two-month low, in around 12 hours. In fact, the coin suffered its biggest one-day drop, 7.2%, since November 2022, with some attributing a Wall Street Journal report that Elon Musk's SpaceX sold its Bitcoin holdings. Another drop then followed in mid-September, although the $25,000 resistance line was not broken. October has seen the price trade between $26,000 and $29,500. It has also flirted with $30,000 on one occasion in mid-October thanks to a false report of an approved Bitcoin ETF. Despite all this, Bitcoin is trading 25% up from the beginning of October. What do we mean by Bitcoin halving? New Bitcoin is created with each new block, and it is given to the miner as a reward for creating that block. This currently stands at 6.25 Bitcoin. So, every 10 minutes a block is created and the miner who created it receives 6.25 newly minted Bitcoin. Every 210,000 blocks, approximately every 4 years, this reward amount is halved. This event is called the Bitcoin halving. This time around, the reward for creating a Bitcoin block will be cut from 6.25 to 3.125. Why have a Bitcoin halving? Well, Bitcoin, much like gold and other precious metals, has a finite supply. There can only ever be a maximum of 21 million bitcoins, and there are currently approximately 19.52 meters in circulation. The value of a bitcoin, as with other assets, is determined by supply and demand. Controlling the releases of the yet-to-be-mined coins helps to balance the supply and demand, as the demand increases over time. There are three elements that can be said to be at play with the bitcoin halving mechanism. Avoids high levels of inflation by steadily reducing the quantity of new bitcoins released over time, makes Bitcoin more scarce as time continues, because eventually, all the Bitcoin in existence will be in existence. This preserves its long-term value and further protects against inflation, a problem seen with fiat currencies throughout the world. Maintains a supply of rewards, known as incentives, for miners to continue operating over a much longer period, until around 2140. Bitcoin halving events will continue to happen approximately every four years until the last of Bitcoin's maximum supply of 21 million has been mined. It's estimated that all available BTC will be mined by 2140. Now to our big question for the day. What is the most realistic outlook for Bitcoin? Please, 
Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell, to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings in the crypto space. Bitcoin maximalists, like MicroStrategy chairman Michael Saylor, believe that Bitcoin is the future of money. He expects the price to go up forever, with some volatility along the way but a reliably positive trend in the long run. So, MicroStrategy has converted most of its cash reserves into Bitcoin and keeps buying more whenever it finds more spare cash to invest. In Saylor's view, that's the only reasonable way to manage your company's cash in the long run. In reality, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will surely see both good and bad news over the next few years. Digital currencies seem ready to reshape the financial markets on a global scale, but the road ahead looks rocky and packed with unexpected twists. So here's what I see as a more realistic outlook for Bitcoin. Regulatory uncertainty. Governments worldwide are likely to continue grappling with how to regulate cryptocurrencies. Some will embrace Bitcoin and similar technologies, while others continue to impose restrictions. This tug of war may lead to periods of extreme volatility as the market reacts to regulatory news. Gradual adoption. More businesses and consumers will probably start using Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, but the pace of adoption will likely be gradual. Some companies might resist due to volatility risks, transaction costs, and regulatory concerns. Nevertheless, the trend toward greater acceptance seems inexorable. Competition from other cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin will likely face stiff competition from other cryptocurrencies. Some will offer faster transaction speeds, others come with lower fees, and a few should focus on enhanced privacy. While Bitcoin is by far the biggest fish in the crypto pond so far, it's far from the only one, and its long-term dominance is not guaranteed. Technical improvements. The Bitcoin network is likely to see further improvements, but these may be gradual and not without controversy. Remember, changes to the Bitcoin protocol require consensus among miners and node operators, which can be hard to achieve. For example, will Bitcoin ever move from proof-of-work validation to the less power-hungry proof-of-stake system, like Ethereum did in recent months? And if so, could Bitcoin still hold on to its lifetime cap of 21 million possible coins? And if not, rival coins might eventually use that foot in the door to topple Bitcoin from the crypto throne. Continued Volatility Bitcoin's price is likely to remain volatile, with significant price swings being the norm rather than the exception. This volatility might decrease as the market matures, but expect roller coaster rides in the meantime. In a nutshell, while Bitcoin's future is uncertain, it's likely to be somewhere between the extremes of becoming the world's dominant form of money or disappearing entirely. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments section. Write us anything down here, we are very eager to read you. Always remember that you are an important part of our community. With that we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also share this video to as many people as possible, let's get this news everywhere. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content and don't forget to follow us on our new Instagram account at FactMakeMoney. See you in a future opportunity to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community. Thanks for watching.